back. Okay, so today we're having a look at the Bronco 135th scale Befels Panzer 38HF. A quick note, that should be an F, not an L. Kit number is CB35003. It is a modified Hotchkiss 38 chassis. They've turned it into, the Germans turned it into a artillery observation vehicle. 24 of these were made. Um, as usual, cautions, not for ages. Ages over 12 years old. Um, I think, believe, this may have um, basic insignia in it. Yep, it has photo etch. And on the side we've got just a few more Bailey Bridge. Looks like an Italian little light tank. And two uh, self-propelled howitzers by Bronco. Mutual 14 plus label stuck on the side for Australia. And um, that's it for the box. And uh, okay. Let's have a look inside the box. Right over there. Okay. Instructions. Yep. Usual Bronco glossy. That's fine. One little bag. This is a little tank, by the way. Bottom hole. One screw. Second bag. Top hole. And exhaust tools. Next is one separate sprue. These look like the front of the vehicle. It looks like you've got three different types plus the mud guards, individual length tracks. Should be easy enough to get put together. One large sprue, which has the wheels, drive sprockets, accessories, suspension, and an engine, basic engine, that I like. And then we've got photo etch, decals, we'll have a look at those, look to be like just two crosses, photo etch springs for your suspension and a piece of chain all right so let me open this up take everything out of the bags and then we'll have a look at detail on this one okay bear with me guys okay so here we are back again all right front page of the instructions just a black and white grayscale copy of the box cover. Very brief history. There are only 24 of these vehicles made for the 21st Panzer Division in Normandy. Uh, they were in action during D-Day. Like I said, these are an artillery observation vehicle, so they would be with the forward troops, whether they be tanks, infantry, motorized infantry, to basically uh, call the fall of shot of shot for the artillery okay so yes it's based on a Hotchkiss chassis which the Germans used a lot of for various vehicles all right let's have a look see basic instructions now um, how to apply the decals all right so you've got color codes for Five manufacturers, hobby color, gun sang you, another hobby color, oh that's Chinese, sorry, Humbrol, Tamiya, basic warnings, sprue layout, okay, you get two sprues for the tracks, piece of chain springs, photo etch, no, step one, putting the engine together. 
this vehicle does have an interior engine driver's seat bulkheads that all goes together you attach the front radios for inside commander's seat they're inside on the bogies suspension and then that all goes together exhaust pipe wheels etc then we come to the tracks once you put the individual links, links together as you can see they basically just click together side mud guards on hull upper hull and then machine gun periscopes accessories like tools etc then it all goes together unfortunate thing about this is only this main front hatch is open so even though it's got an engine in it with a bit of work you could probably open those hatches but they are actually part of the upper hull unfortunately and then back page simple basic overall dark yellow oversprayed with dark green and red brown 21st panzer division france 1944 and that's it basically for the instructions these are the only decals you get so there's no divisional no tactical just two crosses that's what you get all right so in a sec we'll have a look at the sprues all right. Okay, here we are back again. First, let's have a look at the little bits. Here's your photo edge. Okay, I will give you stills of this anyway. Basically, you've got clamps, handles, sight for the machine gun, and this piece here. This is the gun shield around the front. Okay, so we'll put those there. Springs, which I'm not going to open. Springs. And chain for some strange reason a lot of french tanks seem to carry chains so this is what you get all right so that's those pieces we'll put those there those there and first we'll have a look at the bottom of the hull nice rivet detail not much detail on the bottom of course you have do have a front to put on this and a rear some basic detail including a tread pattern inside so if possible i would try to open possibly the engine access doors but we'll see how that goes that's not too bad Let's have a look. Top's the same. Okay. Not much on a, as far as detail on the front. No rivet detail. Presumably it wasn't riveted, it was probably welded. Then you've got a plastic gun shield, or you can use a photo edge. Radios. And uh, don't forget, I'll give you still photos of these anyway tools exhaust pipes machine gun okay so that's first room Then we have second through. Okay, so there's a little bit of rivet detail on the mud guards, and I don't know if you can see it. They actually have three different fronts here. Each one says Hotchkiss on it. And, uh, so we'll have a look see what goes with that. Basic bits and pieces and hatches. 
Okay, that's the that one. Next screw is all your suspension, wheels, wheel caps, dry sprocket, idler, parts of the engine. So it's got a reasonable little engine, and if possible, I'd love to open this up so you could see it. Even looks like even has a radiator, so and another part of the engine right there. So yep, radiator, engine parts. Not too bad, I like that. And then this one. These are your individual track links. There are two sprues of this. They are going to be quite fiddly because they're quite small, but they will give you the right kind of track sag, so definitely worth having that one. And that brings us to the end of the sprues. So there's not so there's not much to it as far as sprues are concerned but for a unique little vehicle um, I reckon this is quite good this one cost me around about $25-30 some time ago um, they're still available was originally issued in 2007 so um, yeah it looks like it will make up to be a very nice little vehicle I mean little this thing is little okay won't take up much too too much space on the shelf <laughs> okay guys and uh that brings us to the end of this one and uh catch you later